Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of XCOM, Open XCOM, UFO Defense, whatever we want to call it. So, last episode, we started out by getting our bases arranged, um, and, uh, you know, getting ready to uh, take on the aliens. An alien UFO landed on Earth, and we assaulted it, took out all the aliens, and uh, managed to capture an intact UFO, which we brought back to our team. Our scientists are also researching laser weapons, which is cool, and, and we're building some base facilities. So, we're going to continue on building these base facilities and waiting for our research to catch up. We also lost... Miguel on our first ever mission against aliens. Um, I had said last time we're not going to read everything in the UFOpedia. I think we, what we're going to do is every episode we'll read one of the old things too, or one or two. So, the XCOM. Let's look at our craft, shall we? To start. So we have the Sky Ranger. This is our troop transport, the fastest of its kind, with vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL capability. Shows you its stats over here. We have the Interceptor, a combat aircraft with dual pulse detonation engines. Ooh, I don't know what that means. And specially shielded electronic systems, the best available Earth-based technology. Alrighty, there's its stats as well. We also have the Stingray Missile. This is an advanced air-to-air -air missile with specialty, specially shielded electronics. This is the one we got rid of. We have the Avalanche Missile. This is the missile we're using as our primary weapon. It's an air-to-air -air missile with a nuclear warhead, but an extremely heavy load. So we're firing nuclear missiles at the alien ships. Um, XCOM. Responsible. And of course we have the, oh, did I not get that? Huh, weird. Um, and cannon, this is the standard cannon, uh, Vulcan cannon, a high powered cannon which fires armor piercing rounds capable of penetrating 16 inches of steel. And these just have such a short range that we're not using them. Um, so, oh, that's what I did wrong. There we go, fix the problem. Nope. I'm not applying it, that's the problem. Sorry. This grab mouse thing is what's important, it's what allows me to scroll around the map properly. I have to remember to enable it every time we play, because if I have it enabled before we play, it messes up the recording. So, those are, well heck, let's just do this. So that's the XCOM craft. Here's our heavy weapon platforms. The tank, ooh, we can buy a tank if we want. It's an automated heavy weapons platform, are designed to complement an XCOM squad. A combination of high firepower and strong armor makes these units valuable for open terrain firefights. Make sure there are sufficient cannon shells in your stores to rearm tanks. They are armed automatically when you assign them to a squad. We can also get a tank with a rocket launcher. This automated heavy weapons platform is armed with powerful rockets. This will be devastating for any alien foe. Make sure your stores are kept supplied with high heavy weapons power rockets, HWP, whatever that stands for. Weapons and equipment, let's just run through this. The pistol, standard issue XCOM pistol is a high powered semi-automatic with a 12 round capacity, does 26 damage. And then here are its snapped and aim shot time unit cost. The rifle, this highly accurate sniper rifle has laser guided sights and takes 6.7 millimeter ammunition and 20 round clips. And again, information, 30 damage per minute. The heavy cannon, the heavy cannon is a devastating but cumbersome weapon its versatility comes from the fact that it can take three types of ammunition. Armor, piercing, incendiary, and high explosive. Uh, if we wanted, we could use this as like a mini grenade launcher. It's just heavy, uses up a lot of time units, and, uh, you know, standardized squads are better off. Easier to just have the same weapons across the board. Uh, the rocket launcher. Oh, sorry. The autocannon. The autocannon combines the versatility and power of a heavy cannon with a faster fire rate. So we have the heavy cannon, but it has an auto shot, that three shot ability. The rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is a laser guided system which can fire three different sizes of missile. There we go. If we ever want to take some missiles, we could always buy one again. 
The grenade is a standard issue grenade. It has an accurate and sophisticated timer for precision control. Smoke grenade. Smoke grenades are useful for providing cover in exposed combat situations. Used with care because they can benefit the enemy as well. Proximity grenade. A proximity grenade can be thrown like an ordinary grenade, but is triggered by nearby movement after it lands. Great skill and care is required to use these devices properly. If you hear a weird noise in the background, it's because the cat has found a piece of plastic he's not supposed to have. And we're going to have to monitor the situation, friends, as we continue. High explosive. This explosive should only be used for demolition purposes. Keep personnel clear of demolition sites. The Stun Rod. The device can only be used in close combat, but will stun a living organism without killing it by using electric shocks. The Electro Flare. This compact device produces a bright flare light with it when it is thrown. This will highlight enemy units in the vicinity of the Electro Flare during nighttime missions. Then we have our base facilities. The Access Lift. The access lift allows equipment and personnel to be transferred into or out of the underground base. It is always the first facility to be constructed on a new site. The lift area is vulnerable to intrusion from any potential hostile force. The living quarters. Each accommodation block provides for up to 50 personnel. The facility provides basic recreation, food, and sleeping areas. The laboratory. Up to 50 scientists can work in a laboratory facility. Laboratories are equipped with the latest technology for research into materials, biochemistry, and cosmology. There is a privileged access to the best research labs throughout the world, including military establishments. The workshop. A workshop contains all the equipment necessary to manufacture equipment based on designs from the science labs. Up to 50 engineers can occupy a workshop, although items under construction will also consume some space. Small radar system. A small detection system has an effective radar range of 300 nautical miles. It is linked to satellite systems for ground searches. Each system has a 10% chance of detecting an average sized object every 30 minutes. Large radar system. A large detection system has an effective range of 450 nautical miles and is linked to satellite systems for ground search. Each system has a 20% chance of detecting an average sized object every 30 minutes. Missile Defense. Missile defenses provide some protection against incursion by hostile craft which are attempting to land near the base. General Stores. All equipment, weapon systems, munitions, recovered material, and heavy weapons platforms are placed in stores, including equipment assigned to craft hangars. Alien Containment. Living aliens are likely to require a special habitat to maintain their life systems. The containment facility can keep up to 10 alien life forms in self-contained units. And then the hangar. Each hangar can accommodate one craft. There are facilities for maintenance, refueling, and repair of XCOM craft. Each craft stationed at a base must have a free hangar assigned to it, which cannot be used by other craft, even if the assigned craft is out on another mission. And then we're back there. So that's the UFOpedia. That's everything we know. All of our equipment, everything else covered already. Look at that, we're ready to move on. So, uh, again, our crafts are equipped, we're ready to go. We got our eight crew members, we don't have any armor we've researched yet, we're waiting on laser weapons. Let's let some time go by um, and see what we find. So, Philip Salk, that new soldier, and some avalanche missiles have arrived at our base. How are our ships going? All right, we're all equipped with our nuclear warhead avalanche missiles, which is beautiful. We've completed our research on laser weapons. Let's view the report, the laser pistol. We can now research laser pistols. Well, let, Cat, what are you doing? Let's research the laser pistol. Look at all these things. We can research all the stuff we found so far we got from the aliens, but let's research the laser pistol start that project there we go all right we have our second ufo small low going southeast at 864 miles per hour or kilometers per hour not sure hopefully kilometers maybe not sure that'd be really fast in miles who knows let's intercept let's send our interceptor number one out to target ufo 2 Go get him, guy. All right, we've caught up. Let's do our standard attack. Fire nuclear warheads. Boom! Got him. All right, if we send our Sky Ranger right now, we should get there before nighttime. 
Um, again, I just want to make sure that we're good on the equipment. Two rifle clips per person. Got grenades. Oh, we can we can uh, eight smoke grenades, eight regular grenades. We got our stun rods. I like it. Uh, it's not oh, again. Take the electric flares, but I don't think we'll need them. So let's intercept. We're gonna send our Sky Ranger one to the crash site, and it should make it there before nighttime. And then, of course, we're gonna do our save game just in case we lose the entire party we want to make sure we're able to recover if things go bad so sky ranger one is ready to land near crash site one begin the mission here we go ufo crash recovery crash site one sky ranger one. exercise caution there may be operatives in the ufo or around the crash site the mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized recovery of ufo remains artifacts and alien corpses can then be initiated to abort the mission, return the XCOM operatives to transport vehicle and click on the abort mission icon. Let's go. So we've got everybody equipped. It is a daytime. We don't need to take these electro flares. The two people, though, I want everyone to have a smoke grenade. There we go. And who is our first soldier? I'm not sure. Um, we have these stun rods. I'm not going to take them. I'm not going to take them with us yet. Let's uh, just kill some aliens. I mean, because we, we don't even have an alien containment place to put them, so. All right, we're in a desert. Out here in the, the desert. We're in a corner of the map. Are we close to the corner, it looks like? Maybe? This is off the map. We're almost in the corner. All right, so safe just to be safe, Miguel. Wait, Miguel died. No, it was the other guy that died. Miguel survived. Klaus is who died. Uh, Miguel, uh, I need you to go ahead and we're going to set up a safe escape. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on out here. And uh, let's get some smoke. Didn't hear any movement inside of a spaceship, so that's good. Uh, Klaus, uh, we'll send Miguel first. Uh, let's have him head on this way. What can we see? Some desert. And it's the back of the desert, so there's the back of the map. Okay. Send Klaus out here. Have him take a look here. See what he can see. No aliens there. That's good. And we'll send the rest of our team kind of out. See what we can see, shall we? Uh, got some dunes. Sergeant Ao. He knows what he's doing. He's got skills. Oh, there we go. What do we got, Palav? We have a another one of these sectoids. So, uh, Ao has going to have a shot. Let's have him kneel. And let's have him see if he can't uh, take some shots here. Good shot, Ao. Good shooting, Tex. We'll have Palav, uh, Seawog? Seawog? Not sure. Head out that way. And Elsa, head this way. Last but not least, Mr. Chavez, who I think might be our newest uh, member of the team. Head on out and let's end the turn. Not a lot of movement, so maybe not a lot of aliens alive after the crash. Uh, let's send Marcos out here to kind of scout for us. Get him up on this dune a little bit. All right, nothing. We've got 
an alien spaceship and we can see a door to it right here. So not bad. As we've got a pretty good field of view on everything, I'm not going to worry about a second smoke grenade. Because at this point we have to fan out to the entire desert and we're going to have a ton of snapshots. Uh, just kind of, we're just going to be looking for the aliens. Don't see anything yet. That's a big spaceship. Okay, I heard some doors inside the spaceship, so we know the aliens are inside. Uh, so we will just continue to make our way over here. Oh, Mr. Souza. He brings the march and the music. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing this way? Anybody out here in the desert? Nobody out here in the desert. Nobody out this way. We're good there. Again, lots of action inside. Uh, right there. Nobody yet. And we're just kind of slowly approaching because we want to have some time units left in case an alien pops his head out and tries to murder us. I want to be able to shoot him. AO off here into the desert. The rest of the desert exploration team head on out this way. There we go. Oh! Got somebody out here in the open. Where was that? Was that over here? Or was that up here? It must have been over here somewhere. Uh, let's have Miguel see if we can see if he can find that alien. There he is. Where's he at? Right there. Uh, can we take some shots? Do you think? You think we'll hit him? We shot him right in the head. Good job, Miguel. Good job. All right, let us continue to approach. That was a silly thing to have him run that far, but that's okay. And I think next turn we will breach the UFO. Alright. Definitely are aliens in here. Let's send in uh, Kaja first. Alright, no aliens that we can see, but there's a lot of smoke. So they could be anywhere. And we've been hearing alien doors open and close. So wherever there's a door, there might be some aliens. Uh, let's send in this rookie as well. Ah, there's an alien next to a door. Uh, let's see, we got some shots. Let's take them. Woo! Good shot! Looks like at least one alien left. Ah, oh, there he is. Was there more movement out in the desert? I couldn't tell. Well, Sousa? Uh, unleash. Heck. Actually, kneel down. Now, on the check. Oh, goodness! <gasps> Sousa survived! He didn't even take a full wound! Oh, that was luck! Thought we were gonna lose another guy. He's not a very good shot, Sousa, just to be honest. He's a really bad shot. Uh, Jasperson, can you hit this from over here? No. But if we get, actually, you can get to here, though. Uh, 
Well, that didn't go well. I wanted to split him up because uh, I don't want that alien to kill everybody in one go if he gets a chance. Uh, Impalov. I mean, Leonard Souza can't move. Impalov, if you go here, can we shoot over Souza? Come on, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. It is, it is no longer up to you. You have done poorly. Well, here we go. Let's hope the smoke saves us. Well, Kaja Jasperson has been killed. But, no other movement. So that is our only alien we have to worry about. And we know where he's at, so... We can just stack up on this door. And uh, we're going to move Marcos Chavez in. You can see the inside of this UFO, UFO, the power supply, the engine, completely exploded. So nothing left there. We see you, murderer of our friends and family. Woo! That was close. No line of fire? I was going to say no line of fire. How'd you shoot at him the first time? All right. So a score of 116. We killed four aliens, got all their bodies. We covered 10 alien artifacts. We lost an XCOM operative. Hope we can start getting through missions without losing people. Uh, two navigations and a bunch of alloys. Okay, cool. And... Everybody has gone up. Uh, Klaus and Ao have uh, got ranks up. And Haja Jasperson joins the memorial wall. We'll let that go ahead and our Sky Ranger get back and park. And in our base, we have a lot of extra money, kind of. Our general stores will be done soon. We have extra living quarters coming in. Uh, let's see here. Cell sack. What did we bring back with us? Well, we got some more sectoid corpses. We don't need those. We can sell those off. They just take up space. We got something called a mind probe. And then, of course, we have this UO power source, UFO navigation, and some alien alloys. I like it. Um, let's take a look here at our base. We have space for 25 more scientists to be working. So let's go to our base space. How many people can we live here right now? We have space for four more scientists. So let's go ahead and buy four more scientists. Uh, no, don't dismantle my alien containment that we're building. All right, a small UFO is low, heading to the east. We're going to intercept that UFO with interceptor number one. Uh, back at our bases, we're going to have to re-equip. You are missing a crew member now. There we go. And interceptor one. Are we over in the land or the water? Uh, we're over water. I want to make sure we do the fight over land, because I want to go to the UFO. I don't want it to sink into the water. Almost there. Come on, get over land, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Standard attack. Shoot some nuclear warheads. Oh, yeah. I'm sure... I am sure the people... of... Where is this? What country is this? I'm a dumb American. I don't know what country that would be. Like, if that would be part of Russia? Like, uh, Russia's obviously here. But I don't know if that would be part of Russia or not. I'm not sure. All right, so um, we will go ahead and send out. Uh, let's make sure that we're good for everything else. Uh, yep, good in all of our normal equipment. 
Uh, we will go ahead and... 1,898. We bought those scientists. They were expensive. Let's send out our Sky Ranger to crash site number two. Oh! Almost forgot. Save our pre-mission save in case it goes terribly wrong. And now we will land at crash site number two. Time for us to exercise caution and kill some aliens. Uh, our standard layout. Looking good. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. There we go. Alright, so we're in another farm. Looks like we've got uh, ooh, quite a bit of space to that side. So we got, you know, a, we're kind of in the middle of the map, it looks like, almost. That's not good. Well, let's go ahead and uh, prime and throw our protective grenade. Not a lot of movement. So we may not have many aliens to deal with. Uh, Klaus, what do you got? Anything here? Nope. How about this way? Okay, we got a crash land a UFO there. Looks like a smaller one. Kind of like the first UFO we found. Ah, what do we got? Where is he? He's up on the roof. Well, let's try, see if we have a shot. There he is. We can get a better view of him. Uh, Miguel, why don't... Oh, you're out of movement. That's fine. Uh, let's have just AO kind of follow up. Let's see if AO can see him for a shot or two here. Not enough time units, but we do have enough for a snapshot. Let's see if that's it. Yep, just the one alien. There we go. An okay rating. Killed the one, got three corpses. That whole spaceship must have just exploded, been full of dead aliens in there. And we finished a mission without someone dying. That's good. Put that in our that's good pile of things. Always great. Let's speed up time here. Our scientists have showed up. Let's uh, throw them at the laser pistol project. Which is good. Construction of the general stores at Eurobase Alpha is complete. Good. Uh, I want to buy... Uh, we have... Shot four of those avalanche missiles. I just always want to have enough missiles on hand. Uh, we're running kind of low on our rifles clips. Let's get a couple more of those. They're cheap. Uh, and other than that, our smoke grenades. Of course, we're running through a couple of those every mission. So we'll get a couple of those. Of course, now that we have storage space, finally. Uh, look at this. We got plenty of space right now, so we're doing okay. Uh, we will, though, need more general stores. General stores are always the, the base facility I never feel like I have enough of. Uh, so, we'll build one more general stores. Alright. Research complete. Laser pistol. Look at that puppy. The laser pistol is an effective implementation of new technology. It has the convenience of a pistol with faster and more accurate firing. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, you can see it actually does more damage than the rifles that we have, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can now research the laser rifle. We're going to go ahead and research the laser rifle next with our 29 scientists. I don't know why I hit cancel. Go ahead and get that research going. Start that project up. And we can now produce a laser pistol. Let's make a couple. So we can go into our... Oh, goodness. Our rifle clips have showed up. Everything's happening all at once. So we can go to manufacture. 
we could produce... Uh, let's see. We can produce some laser pistols. So I don't know how long it'll take. Costs 8,000 a pistol. Takes up two spots. So if I wanted to make eight units... And I put all of our engineers on it. It'll cost us 64,000 to make. Going to take 38 spaces. How long will this take us to make? In 10 days, we will have eight laser pistols. Well, we'll probably have laser rifles before then, but, you know, we might as well get some research going. More avalanche missiles. That's good. Construction of our living quarters at Eurobase Alpha is complete. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and buy one more scientist. One more soldier. I'd like to have those 12 soldiers ready to go. Our alien containment is complete. Awesome. And we have a small UFO detected heading northwest. We're going to intercept, send out Interceptor 1 again, our standard default Interceptor. To catch up with this guy. And again, we're going to wait for him to be over some land. Let's see what he does here. Looks like he's coming back. Oh, oh! Overland, there we go. Let's nuclear missile this guy in the face. Oh, he didn't go down. That got him. That did the trick. We're going to get another mission going here in a second. Uh, let's see. And actually, do we have any... We have five laser pistols we can send. Which is good. Because we don't have to worry about ammunition. That's what's important. Um, so, three rifles, six clips, and five laser pistols. They're not as accurate at long range, but they do more damage. So let's go ahead and intercept with our new weaponry. I'm feeling confident. Let's get time going a bit faster here. I want to make sure we're in daytime. No nighttime missions needed. There we go. Send out the Sky Ranger. And as usual, save our pre-mission game just in case. Ready to land near Crash Site 3. UFO Crash Recovery. Crash Site 3. Sky Ranger 1. Time to exercise some caution. And what we're going to do is Miguel Klaus Ao. Leonardo, Souza, why don't you have a gun? Oh, because we didn't bring enough guns. Our, I'm pretty smart. Where's our... I'm an idiot. I am, I am truly an idiot. Of grand caliber. Which, you know, I accept. There we go. Put our rifles in the back. So we have our new technology at the front. Miguel, you're set up with your smoke grenade. We are ready to go. Another farm out here in... Uh, where were we? In England, I thought? Maybe? I didn't see on the map where we landed. But as usual, prime our grenade. Smoke it out. Lots of alien movement inside of a craft. Miguel, what do you got for us? Uh, we got the edge of the map. We got stuff over here. Let's see what we can see. Nothing that way. Okay. Klaus, the team killer. Nothing yet. So 
So far, so good. Uh, AO, head this way. I think just a couple three-man teams will be fine. We don't need to move everybody out. There we go. Oh, I heard some doors open. They're not just in there. They are inside some buildings. Well, Miguel, I need you to go scout for us. Tell me what you can see out here. Nothing yet. It's neat seeing the little laser pistols on them, though. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, path around here. Now, we could be super cautious. We could be throwing, like, a lot of smoke grenades out in front of us. You know, we could be just uh, too, too much time. I'm happy to tactically cover our, our entrance from the Sky Ranger, which is probably where I lose more... More XCOM operatives than anywhere else. It's the ramp of the Sky Ranger. But uh, we don't need to, to overdo it. On the smoke bombs. I know there are some players who... Like, smoke bombs galore. Every every step is covered with a smoke bomb. I think that's a little much. Not aggressive enough. Plus, we're only playing on experience. It's not like we're playing on superhuman or... You know, any of the super high difficulties. Playing on what I would call a reasonable difficulty. Nothing yet. They're walking around in these buildings. I hear the doors opening and closing. Is there another building over here? No, we do have a big kind of spot. Slowly advance our way over. Okay, we know they're over here somewhere because we can hear the door. We can hear that door open and close. And open and close. I don't see any buildings this way. Miguel, you gonna spot anybody for us? Oh, this is a wall. Like a hedge maze or something. And we got a weird little explodey spot there. Uh, here, Miguel, why don't you shoot open a viewport? There we go. Alright. That way we can blow up some of this and we can see, make sure there's no aliens hiding in this corner. Looking good. Yeah, keep hearing those doors. It's got to be this building got to be one of these buildings over here. Maybe they're up on the second floor walking around. Maybe that's what we're hearing. Who knows? The spacecraft appears to be... Oh, it is. It is all kinds of exploded. Oh no! AO has been killed. Whoa, how bad are we hurt? How bad are we hurt? He came right around a corner. Uh, Palov, no fatal wounds, took a little bit of health damage. Uh, we knew there was an alien over here somewhere. I'm surprised he was able to sneak up on us that well. Uh, we're going to need to get through this. I need, I need to shoot the fence. Miguel, you're worthless. Um, Palov, just duck. Oh, man. Well, that's how XCOM works. Sometimes your operatives make it through, and sometimes they don't. And when you're playing... Like, just super... This, I wouldn't call this super aggressive, but... We're not... We're not taking an insane amount of time. I have seen people play... And I have played... Um, XCOM in a way that is just like... How slow can you go? It 
feels like sometimes. But, life is cheap. Whoa! Oh yeah! Go Klaus! Not just a killer of teammates, but of aliens as well. Oh! Got a little guy hanging out here! Trying to be sneaky, eh? Uh, can you see him, uh, Paylov? Let's try some shots at him. There we go. Alright, we still have one more alien at least around, based on how how that time went. There he is. There's who we're looking for. Hey, buddy. Did I just totally misclick? Alright, Klaus. That was embarrassing to the entire... All of humanity is embarrassed by what you just did. Woo! Got him. Alright, an okay rating again. Killed five aliens, got six corpses, 14 alien artifacts, lost to AO, uh, that mission, our highest ranked operative, but, uh, it happens. It happens. Um, UFO Navigation 2 and uh, 30 Alien Alloys. Rain is okay. Klaus getting more and more stats. This doesn't surprise me that Klaus has been, uh, has been promoted. Oh, Miguel got promoted. And AO was a captain with three, kill three alien kills. Has been lost. Well, let's get our Sky Ranger back. Let's see what our money situation looks like. So, Selsac, we have got what? We've got more sectoid corpses. We can sell all those off. They don't do anything for us, but take up space. Illyrium, alien grenade to hold on to. We got more plasma pistols we can research and sell. But again, we don't need to, we can just sell them. We don't need to worry about, uh, we don't need to worry about stockpiling these alien weapons for our plans. Uh, this though, this is what we're going to stockpile. This heavy plasma, this will be the core of our army uh, once we research up to it. Uh, smoke grenades, we're good, we're good. We used one. Awesome, looking good. So a million off of there. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna build a second base. We're gonna build a second base. Um, how much does it cost to build a base? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I think I would like a second base to help out China. China and India. You know, this whole part of the world we don't want to forget. So, and actually. Can we cover Australia too? Like, can we get like Japan covered and everything? Some of India, Japan. Well, we can't get Australia. Like, that's just too much. So let's go for India, Japan, China. Yeah, let's go for some coverage here. So we're gonna build right here. It's gonna cost 750,000 Southeast Asia. Okay. We're going to call this Asia Base Alpha. Okay. We're going to put our access lift somewhere that we can control it um, so that we don't have to move all that junk around like we did previously and waste a million dollars or whatever it's costing us to move our ships to the north. We're going to put an access lift right here. And we're going to build the following facilities. We are going to build one living quarters. We are going to build, and that's it. Uh, oh, and, and a hangar. So the idea is, 
is that in this base, we'll have a hangar, some living quarters. Uh, how long does it take for a, a radar system? 12 days. So as soon as our hangar is complete here, uh, we will build, I mean, actually our living quarters, we will build a general store and we will build a radar defense. And the whole point of this base will be to give us a way to get more radar coverage and intercept UFOs on this side of the map over here. Uh, and then maybe next month we'll worry about the U.S. So that's the plan. Um, and soon we're going to fix our money woes, hopefully. Uh, if I can remember how to do this, this base may also become a base of manufacture. We'll figure that out in a second. So... That's where we're going to wrap up this episode. We've had a couple more successful missions. Uh, we have... Uh, let's see. We have lost three soldiers of the 14 we have recruited. So far, again, our most recent loss was Ao. Before that, we lost Keja and Vincenzo. So, folks, that is where we're at. Um, oh, hey. This tells us all kinds of stuff. I didn't know any of this was in here. There's our stats so far. Oh. Huh. Who knew? Who knew? Well, folks, with that, we'll wrap up this episode. On the next episode of Game with Grug, we will continue to fight the alien menace and protect the Earth as XCOM. Until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.